when magnetic field is increased energy is supplied to the core and when field is decreased the core returns the energy to supply however some energy is lost in this process late small change in flux in this process is defy okay so here phi is equal to b into a that is flux that is equal to b into a here b is the magnetic field and a is the area of the core and the induced emf due to this change of flux is given by e that is equal to n d phi dt okay and here n is the total number of turns okay now from this relation d phi that is equal to a into dv because a is constant there okay now the energy loss in this process that's equal to given by de that's equal to current into induce mmf into the time okay now current is given by i emf is given by that is the e so n divided dt and time that is dt now from this this dt this dt cancelled out and remaining i and d phi okay now that is equal to we put the value of d phi there that is a dv okay that is d e now the magnetic induction that is h is given by b by mu okay and b is given by mu n i here by mu here n is the number of turns per unit length and so mu mu cancelled out and remaining n i okay and n can be written as total number of turns per length that is n by l into i okay now from this we get n that is equal to l h by i now we have to put this value of n in this there so we get that is de is equal to i l h by i into a d v and there i i cancelled out and remaining there a l into h d v okay now the total change energy loss that is e integral of d e is equal to a l h d v here a and l are constant so it comes out in of integration and remaining h d v here you can see that a l is the volume part so the energy loss per unit volume can be written as e by a l that is equal to integral of h d v now you can see that this is the energy loss per unit length and this is also the hysteresis loss and on the other side you can see that this is the area enclosed by the b h loop so this is the term for hysteresis loss